a leap year. It's one day at the end of February that gets added on to a year after four years have passed. You may be wondering why leap years exist, just to inconvenience us? Just to make people who had events on that day suffer because they could only do it once every four years? No, actually, there's a pretty scientific reason behind the leap year. I'm not gonna get into it too much, but basically every day is not 24 hours. Sure, there's one or two days in the entire year that are exactly 24 hours, but down to the milliseconds, nothing is 24 hours. So, that's why they created the leap year. For all those seconds, over 24 hours, after four years, all combined into one day. And this is where I got the question, what about Lumber Tycoon 2? Does it have a leap year? And if so, how many years have to be in between each leap year? Well, in today's video, we're going to explore just that. So before we can answer the question and do the maths, we first need to gather the data necessary. And all that we need is the time that it takes for a full Lumber Tycoon 2 day down to the millisecond. So how we are gonna do this experiment is we are going to start the timer right now, right as the moon passes the top of Wood R Us, and we are gonna keep it going for a full day. And now, almost 24 and a quarter minutes in, looks like the moon is about to pass the top of the water sign again. In three, two, one, boom. There's our final time. Now let's get to the math. So that right there is the time that it took to go through a day cycle in LT2. Now we take all the time over 24 minutes which is the only other variable here, and divide it by the time of a real life day. That gets us one or 59.018. Next, we convert the time of an LT2 day into milliseconds before multiplying that by 365, which is the time of a real life year. That will get us 8,760, which we then convert to milliseconds, which gives us 3.1536 e plus 10. Next, we take that hella long number and divide it by 22,397, which equals that other kind of hella long number. Next, we take that hella long number. Wow, this script has a lot of hella long. <laughs> and then we divide it by the original number of our LT2 day, which equals that number. Now we convert that number into minutes, which gives us roughly 23.5 minutes, which means that there is about that much extra per year. Thus, every, every 107 years, there is not a leap year, but every other day, there is a leap year. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. We found our answer to our question. There is a leap year in Lumber Tycoon 2 every single year, except every 107 years when there is one year that has no leap year. So thank you all for watching this episode. My computer is still broken, but it is getting fixed and hopefully it will be fixed by the end of today. Anyways, this is gonna be it for me. If you found any inconsistencies in my math, which there probably are a lot, uh, then just leave them in the comments below. But yeah, this is gonna be it for me. Peace.